What's up guys, hope you're doing great, this is Kobe Shots and in today's video I'm going to show you how I color grade my films in Premiere Pro using only Lumetri color without any influence by LUTs or presets. Let's get right into the video. Okay, welcome guys to Premiere Pro. Let us look at the footages once more in its flat profile. Okay, so this is without any grade straight out of camera shots from my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. All right, so the first thing that I always do is to color correct before if I would do any other thing in addition to that, I do that. All right, so under normal circumstances, you can edit everything or you can color grade on the clip itself, but it is always advisable that you use an adjustment layer, which you can easily find right over here. Create a new one, make sure that it conforms to the resolution of your um, your program or your sequence then you click OK and it creates it right over here for you All right, so that's exactly what you're gonna do. You're gonna drag it all the way on top over The footages, okay? I am NOT stretching it all over to this end because these clips are different and they ought to be treated Separately individually and differently. Okay, so let us begin with um, This particular clip but I can easily hold Alt and drag, click in the left mouse button and drag it all the way to the other to duplicate the adjustment layer. So I can lay it right on top of the other clip and have a different adjustment layer to work with. All right, so let us begin with this particular footage. So I show this clip in 60 frames per second so that I could slow it down. In fact, I normally shoot all my clips in 60 frames per second so that in case I need to slow something down that I didn't originally decide to slow it down, I wouldn't have any difficulties in doing that. So now let's move into color grading. All right, so I'm going to start with color correcting and uh, that's just to correct the flat profile. You realize that there's no contrast there's zero saturation and everything looks dull and that's a clean slate to start with. So what I'm going to do first of all is to hit color. When I have the adjustment layer selected, it's going to bring me Lumetri color. I could also as well select a Lumetri color right over here just like I've typed in Lumetri color and it would have brought me the same thing. but. Activating something or moving something over here will automatically make Lumetri color appear on its own. All right, so let us start with the color grading by, you know, adjusting the tint or the temperature, all right? This was shot during sunset, so I, will, I have the intention of giving it a little bit of warmth like that. And I'm going to increase the exposure because it's a little bit dark. I'm going to push the contrast to the right for more defined edges and detail. I'm gonna also increase the highlights, but not too much, so that I don't blow out the sky, because I'm gonna give the sky a little bit of a teal color in the end, All right? So I'm gonna equally increase the whites so that it can affect the skin tone much better. Now going back to the temperature, you realize that you have better results when the exposure is worked out correctly as well as the contrast. So I think pushing the contrast a little bit to the right will serve me well. Okay, all right. So I think uh, it's a little bit better. I think I like what I'm seeing. Okay, so let us move on to creative. You could easily use saturation, but saturation is kind of very, very strong. And uh, since I don't want to move too quick, I want to be subtle enough uh, with my grading, I'm gonna use vibrance instead. Push it a little bit to the right to get some vibrance in there. All right, and immediately realize that the greens are popping out and the skin tone is also popping out as well. Okay, all right. Once that I have my vibrance set up right, I'm gonna move down to shadow tint and highlight tint. All right, what I'm gonna do over here is that I'm gonna push in some colors into the shadows and I'll also push some colors into the highlights, all right? So um, with the shadows, I double click this, it reverts back to normal. So with the shadows, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm going to push a little bit of you know warmth into the shadows, okay? To maintain the sunset feel that I wanted to have, all right? 
So you realize that it is popping out and it's giving some nice warm tones to the shot. All right. And equally, I'm going to drag the highlights, but this time downward so I can affect the highlights. And do you remember that I said I was going to give my sky that tint of blue so I could give it, you know, some life because without these pushed, remember that this particular area was actually blown out without detail. So bringing the highlights down this way, right towards the blue, so it's gonna affect everything highlights. So you realize that the ground, the rock she's sitting on, and even her skin tone, because she's light skinned, the highlight tint is actually affecting all those areas. But particularly I'm targeting this area. And I think even though it affected some highlights in the areas that I didn't really intend to give highlights of blue, still works pretty well and i like this feel all right so i'm going to move on to curves and that's where all the magic actually happens so what i'm going to do first of all is to increase the vibrance in the greens okay all right a little bit this way okay and i'm going to select the hue all right so i'm going to actually target the green area and uh I'm gonna click and set these pegs over here. And I'm gonna push upward. And as I push upward, it changes the green a little bit. Let me add a little bit of yellow so that uh, it actually affects it much better. There's a lot of yellow than a lot of green. According to these softwares, there's a lot of yellows in the green areas, especially foliage. That's how the softwares understand the foliage so you have to select more of the yellows inward than just the greens all right so i think this is set right let me go back here and increase the saturation in the yellows and there you see a very wonderful transformation from all green to a little bit of yellows into the green areas all right so equally i'm gonna go downward all right and um Play a little bit with the luminosity or the luma, hue luma. I'm selecting the yellow and the green areas as well once more. Okay. All right. Since everything is set up right, let's go back to the creative, okay, and increase the vibrance even further to make the greens pop out some more. All right. And I'll go back to the basic correction and play around with my highlights, my whites. Okay then the blacks a little bit more and it makes it pop wonderfully well one thing i didn't really touch because i didn't know or i didn't have any idea about how the outcome was going to turn out is the tint so if i look at the shot right now and how far we've pushed the color grade i think a little bit of uh, magenta wouldn't do bad so that it can really you know give some more contrast and complement the yellowish you know tint that we've given the foliage and that's simply about that one more thing that we can also do to make this shot even more interesting is to bring attention to the center area of the shot so i'm gonna click on vignette and uh, i'm gonna push the amount to the left so that brings the dark so if i push it to the other way it's gonna rather brighten up the edges but I'm going to go for a dark edge and uh, change the midpoint and make sure that it doesn't become very conspicuous, all right? Then the roundness, make sure it bleeds out and it feathers out so that it's barely noticed that there's a vignette. All right, and that's just about that. So let's play the video and see how it looks. Okay, so this is before. And this after with just one adjustment layer. You can furthermore place more adjustment layers on top of this particular one that we've worked on. And uh, you can also further increase the width of color grade that you want to give this particular shot or whatever shot it is that you have your hands on. Moving on to the next clip is the water, right? So water actually has a lot of blues in it, in its character, right? It gives that feeling of freshness purity and all that and that's exactly what i'm going to use as a concept to color grade this particular clip 
So since this clip is all water, I can play around with all my blues and wouldn't have to worry about any skin tone or any other thing that may not really work well with the blue tint and the blue shade I'm going to give this particular clip. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do, of course, I'm going to select my adjustment layer and make sure it's activated. Then I'm going to push my temperature to the left for blue. Okay, then I'm going to play around with my tone. That's my color correction. All right, I'm going to open up the shadows for my exposure, all right? But remember that the water isn't still. If I play it back, you realize that it's flowing, all right? So because of that, you have to maintain some shadows in there. I'm going to push in the black so I can see a defined area over here. Okay, all right, so let me increase the highlights. And so far, I think we've been doing something, all right? I like how far we've come but that's actually not the end let us move forward to creative and equally i'm going to push in the vibrance a little bit so that the blue pops out some more and this area is green because there's actually a foliage or a tree right next to the camera right so there's nothing as a problem to worry about because uh, it's not been a distraction by the color grade that we're doing so far so i'm going to furthermore push some blues using the shadow tint and there you realize that the water body is getting more and more bluer all right okay so i'm gonna push the highlight end as well downwards to give it a lot of blue and you're going to understand why i want more blue for this particular clip in no time all right and we'll move on to the curves and i think the blue is a little bit enough other than that i could have well we could try it could have increase the blues and vibrance over here i think it works but uh, i don't want to get too extreme so i'm gonna become a little bit subtle but i'm not gonna leave it untouched all right now i'm gonna move on to the hue versus hue and give it that teal look that i always love to give my blues all right so there you see it this one it was without it and this one you push it up that's how it turns into okay and equally I'm gonna go downward and add some luma to it for more exposure and contrast and highlights all right okay and uh, yeah I think so far this is what I will do I actually like the look of it so this is before and after before and after and this is exactly how I color grade using just Lumetri color in Premiere Pro without using any form of LUTs. Thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. If you enjoyed this and you wish to have friends to see this and understand how to color grade with Lumetri color just as you have understood how to do it, please like, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos and of course share it across all social media platforms so that everyone or people who will be interested in a video of this sort can also have a piece of the cake and please don't forget to turn on the post notification buttons because it is very important you push it so that anytime I upload a new video you'll be the first to see it thank you very much once again and have a wonderful day see ya